Live from the Cactus Creek at Ibri, he is the king of prime time, Ghana's undisputed entertainment laureate, and still the youngest old man in Ghana. Put your hands together, show some love for the indefatigable KSM. The KSM Show. <laughs> I am, I am extra excited, you know why? Because this is the first show in 20, 2022. That's what I'm saying, 2022. Guys, because it's 2022. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first show in 2022, not 2022. No, no, it's really, really exciting to be back. This is the first show for this year, and uh, there are a few changes that are going to be coming, and I'll be telling you as we go along. But let us look at 2021. Year review year in the Kakrebi 2021 was a very interesting year for Ghana, man. My goodness! And all the action happened in Parliament. 2021, remember how we started the year? Oh my goodness. They called it Kung Fu fighting in Parliament. Take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I was watching this, I was thinking about the song. Do you know that song? They call it Kung Fu Fighting. -na 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 -na. You, <laughs> the young ones, you don't remember this song, but we, we from the back in the day, everybody got it Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> eh? You young ones, you do everything on Google, eh? So you go to Google right now, just type in Kung Fu Fighting. But you hear it. Everybody's kung fu fighting and see how it goes with the fight in parliament, man. And the best thing about this whole fight was that uh, another song, Amakai, Usibisa. Do you know the song? He's got the paper, who's got the match, who's got the paper. Do you know that song? No. Oh my goodness! Who's got the paper? Who's got the paper? Who's got the paper? Who's got the paper? But I know, I know there are many in the audience who say, yes, yes, we know that song. Or see if song like, who's got the paper, who's got the match? who's got the paper, who's got the match, you know. And I'm, I'm saying this because that the, the, the first parliamentary video reminded me of who's got the paper, who's got the match. Do you know who had the paper? Carlos Ayunkra. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the ballots? He had all the papers and what did he do? He's got the papers and I'm really a show some love. <laughs> Looking back, the award for the most shameful parliamentarian goes to Carlos Ahenkra! <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then we went for a break and we came back nicely. And then the year came to an end. And guess what? Guess what happened in Parliament at the end of the year, man? This one wasn't Kung Fu fighting. This one was called E Levy Hustle, man. <laughs> oh, have you heard that saying? They say, what was from the hole, was from the hole, near boy, which means your face is available for a slab, but they are hitting your stomach. Okay, but actually, you'll be in the house, so you're money, you're more. You're pulling this one, because do you remember that? There was more kung fu fighting. Take a look at this. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. In fact, Oh my goodness! More kung fu fighting, man. But wait, and you're the young boy. It was Charlie. But this, all jokes aside, man. I, you know, I talk to the youth a lot. So I told the youth, man. I say, you young ones of Ghana. Any time any of us adults see you and tell you, eh, you youth, you don't respect the youth of Ghana. Mumwadiye, you don't respect. Whenever they tell you that, tell them we learn from our honourables. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you learn it from. 
such a really disgraceful behavior from honorables. I went to one of these universities very recently to give a speech, you know, and it was funny, man. The whole place was packed, you know, whenever the students here, I'm going to talk, no more and what the, the, the MC was introducing me, he said, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure now to invite our own Honorable KSM. Yay! <laughs> and you know what? As soon as I mounted the podium, I said, people, I beg. The title Honorable. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, a fine man like me are calling me Honorable? <laughs> no, I told them. You know, like I was joking, but I really meant it that child, please. I am KSM. Mufami, sir. Ubiya from Honorable. Because these behaviors that we're getting from our honorables, should I say, uh, I think the English word is despicable. Anyway, issue number two. Well, we finished with the most, what I think the most shameful act for 2021. So far, for 2022, the most ridiculous statement I've ever had, it's in the comfortable lead now, maybe will be at me beating him, maybe somebody will beat him, is what this man is my good friend, oh. Uh, he went to proper college, oh. That's what he said. <laughs> that, that, that's, uh, that's what he alleges. <laughs> He's a senior. He went to proper college, oh. And he said, Charlie, you cannot compare Ghana to the US or the UK. He says, Ghana is far better than the US and the UK, man. <laughs> Development will not fall from heaven to earth. No, I can say Ghana is better than United States. Ghana is better than UK. Because of the good policies our president and other government is giving to the Ghanaians. Honestly, it, it, it is true. You know, apart from everything, it's very, very true. You know. Ghana is much, much, much better. That's why when every significant person, like our president, is sick, they go to the UK for treatment. That's why when uh, Bawumia was sick in Asia, where they go to, he went to UK for treatment. Eh? Our own honorable candidate, Japan, when he was sick, he went to the US for treatment. All of that proves that Ghana is better than those countries. Show some. <laughs> Some things shouldn't be said. Hmm? Ghana is better than the US and the UK. Ah. Issue number three. <laughs> and this issue I like because both of them are my very, 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 very good friends. In case you didn't know, they are my good friends. One is uh, JM. Jomahama, yes. I know him from back in the day when he was Legon. Very good friend of mine. The other friend of mine is uh, Gabi Ocheda. Can you all know him? Another tight man. Gabi is good people, man. That's how Americans put it, man. Man, that guy, he's, he's good people. You know what I'm saying? Now, something came and people were talking. But well, what happened? How come Gabi went to see Mahama? And then Mahama, Mahama allowed Gabi to see him. And there were all these. Blah, 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 blah. But folks, chill. I know the reason why Gabi went to see Mahama. It was a very Nicodemus meeting. <laughs> Nicodemus, I said. Kind of Bible. You know, they met Nicodemusly. And the whole thing was this. Gabi was trying to convince Muhammad that he should make him his running mate. Ay, Asemo! Ghana politics! Eh? Eh? Muhammad now has a running mate into Gabi Ochidako. So the MPP will vote for Gabi, and then he will vote for Ina Oma Wendy. Show some love, man. <laughs> oh, anyway, this is the beginning of the year. I thought I'll do a little bit of review of what has happened in the year. And there'll be more exciting things, you know. Um, my guest today, well, let me tell you, he happens to be a family member of mine. Me kind of crunch them. Me me watching you. You know about that for Family and friends, man. Show some love. <laughs> 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 what do you get up? You're worrying that Naku Ford, he says, and he says, Oh, Chin, you're by family and friends in Kuan. And he's a president of me, small talk show host. Me too, I'm doing family and friends. Shows me some love. <laughs> but I'm going to be talking to this lady, man, and she's my niece. I mean, Ushepa, uh, traditionally speaking, there is my daughter. 
because she happens to be the daughter of my eldest brother. May he rest in peace. He, he has become a storm in this country. For those of you who follow what they call TikTok, I'm sure some Kukran say, I'm TikTok. My age group and not say, but what is TikTok? But the younger guys know what I'm talking about. She has become a sensation on TikTok based on the comments, the observations. Before I bring it on, I want you to take a look at her observation on how a queer parents behave when they ask you, say, Pacho, do you know this person? And you say you don't know the person. This is how they behave. Watch this. Okay, at all costs, you know. As so Timmy Church, I see him no more. Every amount of references, I'm out of you. Nippon says, Away, who Nippon cries, so Nimna. At least, as so who a bushy Nibia or yet connected to Nippon or Bonnie Dina Mau. In the area on a normal conversation, will be a bissa or Winnie Mamma, or see Amma Ben, oh, I'm a poor and in the call a school or Martin Porus. So they be men kind of. Oh, anyway, they be. It's on a typical so on a normal day, I could crop on or what could if I knew capping for new baby. Maybe, yeah. So the conversation starts like, Oh, Nana Fari to Nebani Dingo. So Nana Fari. Oh, who named Nana Fari? Yeah. Oh, worry, Irene Bay and the name Ding Ding Dingy. Only Nick Nana Fari, and I want a name Ding 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 Sumo Frabi. I want a woman with a woman. Hey, you can't walk over here. Shop or be on your berry money name now from a friend here. Oh, I rather do any bibiaqua. Any bibiaqua. Now, any more. So, many more. Oh, then I find a hair. Who named Teacher Bogo? Teacher Poco. Teacher Poco or Junior School. Bribe your brony, you're a muadia, why and police case with room. Say, and ask him, get to her. Hey, ask me. Unimen. Miss Mans. Hey, what do you ask me? Yakosu or crumb her beer, and you are with Oh, mammy, she. I nana fari no offer. Ni uncle back or no age more commercial bank. Or friend, or friend could you have fire? I didn't the commercial bank. No impenium for Nibi, Debi. Oh, Oconia accident, Sibia. We're trying and I'm eating two down, who caught in our brochure. Oh, maybe so I am with you. Maybe we are on it. This so made me mean him. Oh, where's so whom? Mammy, eh, eh. Tito poku ne yere Irene yo Bruni. Ne sister ne o sign bia. So ni mo sign bia. So o sign bia o sign bia. Oh. O sign bia re yo ko tina buro chiri ba ya ne ntare ya bi esen ya. Wo ha wa jo apu apu apu. Obi o so fia buro chiri. O ba wa ade ase ya. O mi so be sister wo nnu ya nyina ko ni fi. Mi ni so fia buro chiri wa mfa sika mbo. Oh we ha ho meto. Mi ka ya fare. Oh we ya mi ngwa ngwa. Le brother ba ku kura ne kwa mi ne ko school. Sa boy you are koye fit ya. What's your map on here? Went to me. Into a dang apprentice, bay me name who. What's so say? Hunipa, Hunipa, as one Hunipa walk room. Isn't that, isn't that freaking funny? Well, for those of you who don't speak English, I, I will explain later, but you know. So, th so this is my niece, and I think she's become a sensation on, on social media, man. Facebook, Instagram, everywhere you go, it's her. But I want to pick her brain small how she gets her ideas, because every day she delivers a TikTok message. What inspires all of this? So sit tight, folks. This is the first show for 20, 2022. And when we come back, man, I'm hanging out with family and friend, Maka Maka. Stick around, we'll be right back. <laughs> You can enjoy your coffee at home and in your car. So, why insure just your car? Introducing Homeprehensive, a single insurance policy for both your car and home. Get Homeprehensive from Vanguard, because when it comes to insuring your car and home, for boom preco. KSM show. Woo! I 
I told you, man. I said everything, dear Ben Aminka. All I have now is the pleasure to introduce family and friends. Put your hands together. Show some love for Ya Enima. Hey, hey, one more, one more, one more. Hey, three, three. You do this. You do this. Hey, Enima, come Uncle KS. Mm. Or is it daddy? Uh, whichever. <laughs> whichever comes first. <laughs> Chale, all of a sudden, you are everywhere on, on, on the net. What could what viral? What happened? Uh, mama. <laughs> what happened? Did you always. Were you planning this? What happened? You just exploded. Uh, no, I didn't plan this. Um, you know, so there's a friend of mine, she's called Selassie. She's always bugging me, my brother, Katie. You know, Katie. You know, so they're always like, oh. You cry, you need a show. You cry, you can do this. I don't think I'm that funny or, you know. So she's you always- You don't think you are that funny? No, I mean, well, you I didn't- You're hilarious. So. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. So, you know, she's, she's like, um, she, every now and then she'll ask you to send me a video of somebody. She's like, oh, look at this girl. You're even funnier than her. You know, and she has her own show and people love it. I'm like, uh, maybe she's funnier than me, seriously, because I don't think I so can do So seriously, this. you didn't think you, you had any... Well, you know, if back in the day from secondary school, primary school, you know, it's always been... I just thought I was bubbly, but not funny. Mm, mm, you know, every, mm. you know like, so I'm like, I like to always lighten the mood, you okay, know, so okay. you know, I'm talking, I'm bugging people, bullying, but... You know, and then people laugh, but I'm thinking this is just normal, I mean, normal. yeah, if you're all talking, people will wow. laugh. So not to the extent that if I put a video out there, it will go viral. People are like, this is he's hilarious. I'm like, ah. So I'm sitting <laughs> in my room and so I just made this video. You know, there's this video that I like. Some Nigerian guy, I don't know, Isaac something. So you know when you go on TikTok, you you can mimic somebody. Yeah. You know, just do the voiceover. So I like that video. So I did that voice. And anyway, normally I don't sleep early. I'm just in my room. I'll go through TikTok, you know, go through a social media page. So I did this thing, then I, 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 um, I saw it on, on uh, TikTok, mm -hmm. and then it said, use the voice, you can use the voice. So if you watch that video, I was even in my night, and I was going to sleep, because I just lied on my bed. So I went to put the, 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 the phone in front of my dressing mirror. So I took about five minutes, you know, to learn, you know, the lines. And then I just mimicked it. So I think that was the very first one. Then after that, I think there were some pictures or something that you could put there, so I did that. So I put it out there. And then the next day, and I'm like, ah. And, and seriously, I didn't even know. So every time you, I, I, I think I posted just one thing, because mm -hmm. you know I make soaps and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I posted one thing, and I, I, I kept saying that the numbers were changing. I didn't even know what those numbers were. So those numbers were views. So when I posted this one, then each time I come, the number has changed. I'm like, why does TikTok keep changing my number? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they were? I didn't know. I didn't know. Was. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually I thought, oh, okay, so these are views. So I'm like, ah, this is actually funny, you know, people watch it. Then it's, it's kind of interesting. How so, many views did it get? I don't, I don't even remember, you know, but yeah, I mean, yeah. considering it was, it was the first up. video. Okay, so I think then I did a few. So this time, because I always have all these funny ideas and I try to see something funny out of anything that is very serious. I always try to see how, I mean, but this is also the fun side of it. I mean, it's serious, but yeah, it's, yeah. when you look at it this way, it's funny. Yeah. So I, I, that's what I do all the time. I'm always trying to see something funny. Funny, yeah. yeah. So I think then this time I did a video. I'm not doing any voiceover. I don't even remember what the first video was. Uh, I can't remember now. But not to cut you off, for example, a normal situation that you turned into some massive comedy was you, you're making fun of a crap. The, 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 you, you, the one we just showed there, you have to know somebody. You have to know what? somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what's interesting is, I was at home, so you know, now that I'm up, and I think because my videos are things that you can relate to. Yeah. So I was at home, then my brother was in a crop with my mom. And I think, you know, the same scenario that I used for the video, mm -hmm. I think they were talking about something. I really couldn't hear. But you know, it was the whole thing, oh, say, Ray, say, afraid, you know, that thing. So I just laughed. And she said, oh, but you can create something around this. And I'm like, and sometimes, seriously, when I'm doing it, I'm like, this is going to be funny. Most of the time, because I do the video, I watch it, I'm not laughing. So I'm like, who's going to laugh when I send this? <laughs> and people are like, I'm just blowing up. 
it, it is hilarious. I'm sorry. Many have seen it and they know what I'm talking about. But I know, I know. I mean, that's just it. I just find humor in maybe seriousness. But the, if that's, I put it that that's, that's the hallmark of a good comedian. Okay. You know, that's a hallmark. You now, know. Now Something I know. very, very, coming, very. Coming from you, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, something very serious. You look at it and then you <laughs> see the fun in it, you know. Exactly. Because when I was watching this Equipment uh, that's what you call mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. you know, every time they were talking about trying to make you remember somebody, yeah. it was somebody that had some negative. Yeah, it's, it's either negative or awkward. Yeah. Oh, who can I the Oh, who can I Oh, and I can You know, it's always something like that. Oh, mommy, and the man who never fails, we need to move very, very. There's always some negative thing attached yeah. to it. And 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 it's like you have to know. Yeah. And the minute you say no, you no. know it continues. They find something else. So until you try and say, eh, yeah, I'm a solo, they make kind of no. It doesn't end. <laughs> you must know them. You must know them. Oh, woman. So if it's, if it's not them, it's somebody they know that you should know. Yeah. Uh, What's yeah. the relevance anyway? I mean. <laughs> Somebody's naming their child, I don't know them, so yeah. So Congratulations to him, <laughs> whatever. So <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you had so some reactions? Rare. Have you found some reactions from home? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's I, 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 it, it seems, I don't know, so my cousin, you know, she's also a couple, so she called OT, she said, um, it looks like all of a sudden all the Kiapin people are heroes. But I don't know if they'll take you back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny enough, because sometimes when I'm doing the videos, especially with the church one, I was yeah, very, I don't know yeah. if I sent it to you. Or, I got it. That and you, you have, you're have going back to Presbyterian? Going back to Presbyterian. Okay. So it was a Sunday. It was like I came back from a program on Saturday. So normally I just sit in front of the thing and I'm like, okay, tomorrow I want to go to church. And then, you know, I was like, okay. Normally I will go to, I don't want to mention anybody's church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they will say it's them. Because it looks like it's a debate. Everybody says it's my church, the other one yeah. says it's this one. Yeah. So I'm thinking of, should I do the charismatic because it's closer? Or I should go to Presby because now I say I'm going to go back. So then I'm thinking like, then that thing just hit me like, you know, these people cry and all yeah. <laughs> drama and yeah. songs and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So maybe I'll do Presby. So then it just clicks. Should I just do a video on, you know, the whole experience? But let, sorry to cut you, but no let worries. me tell you, what I find amazing about what you do, you know, because right. I don't know how that happened, but these days we have entered an era where comedy is slapstick. You yeah. must actually do something physical. Exactly. You know, uh, uh, ding, ding. You know, you wear a wig, you wear a wig, so, yeah, you know. That's, that's where we are, we love slapstick. Yeah, okay. I don't know, But here's your character, she's not doing slapstick, She's not yelling. She's minding her business, always in her hair though. What was this with the hair? <laughs> I, I think, I, well, I think I'm a little particular. You know, like yeah. now I think that maybe the wind has blown. Yeah. So I have to strengthen yeah. it. So, but, but the thing is that I'm, I do it in front of my mirror. Mm, mm. And my hands are on the dressing table like this. Mm, mm. And I think I, I, I fidget a lot. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. then, you know, it's the easiest yeah. thing for me to just do. But that's, well, <laughs> what, what I'm saying there, it's great for people to know. Yeah. And I think one of the reasons you are getting many, many, many views and followers is that it's refreshing it, to it's, see that somebody can create such humor by just sitting down minding your own business. That thing. And, 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 I, and I think people... Uh, you know, people are actually interested in like the yeah, story. Yeah. So I start, yeah. and then it's like there's going to be a punchline at the end. Yeah. So, and I try to make the videos three minutes, and I think people even mind if it's ten minutes. Yeah. Because it's they, like they the story it, yeah. is, you know. So people say you can chop con con sapa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, if you are telling a story, you should hold mm -hmm, it, you know. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. so yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. And 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 I guess it's you know the fact that. It's just an ordinary person, an ordinary person, you know, no heavy makeup, no hair, you know, somebody. And I don't know, they, people actually notice a whole, like, rubber band. For some funny reason, people, if people drew my attention to that. Wow. For some reason, I always have, have a rubber, rubber band, band on my wrist. And I didn't even notice this wow. myself. Wow. So wow. my nanny said, you know, her daughter said, why do you have rubber band? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess wherever I find it, I kind of just put it on yeah, my wrist, but yeah, I didn't even, yeah, yeah but yeah. I think But outside of good. this though, do you, you are into, you make products, essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Green Essentials. I have a company, Green Essentials, yes. Yeah. So, so you, make, you make soaps and... 
soaps, lotions, creams, detergents, bleach, liquid soaps and things. So that's that's really is my business. That's the business. That's what I do nine to five. And 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 <laughs> and the and, the <laughs> so, <laughs> and TikTok is so, is a side business. TikTok is not a side business. But it's turning into a full business now because your your, it, it your, your, your fans want you there every day. <laughs> yeah, and so I did one video. I think it's not malaria; it's COVID. Um, <laughs> that video in the car, because I was on my way. So what happens is, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you have that brain. It comes and it goes. It comes and yeah. goes. So what happens is, as soon as I remember something, if I can't record here, I, I write it down or I record a short video so that I just work on it. So this time I was in the car, I was driving, and I'm like, let me just do this video in the car. So that I did a video in the car. Then somebody comes and comments, oh, I like this one, away from your usual aspect. <laughs> 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 so it's, it's interesting, and like you're saying, it looks like people want more. And So yesterday, uh, for instance, I went to the market. Mm. Then I had done a video that I said the hustle is real, so I am. Uh, how do you say it? Made a buffoon kind of thing. Upayadi, upayadi, tomatoes, jenny, jenny. Like hawking something. I don't uh, know. Hawking. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh. So I'm doing this video, and uh, that also blew up. So I went to the market, and this lady is selling something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven CD. So I said, oh, let me just record this video because that one is the hustle is real. So this is the real hustle. This is a real hustle. So I did that. That was just about 15 seconds. Then on the market, they said yesterday was Christmas. I'm like, ah, Christmas is a trouble. Hey, let me walk. I'm going to show you. And they were all dancing. So I said, okay, so can I join you then? So I, I, I just danced with them. I did a video. Put that one out there. And everybody was so excited. <laughs> So my brother said, yeah, you have to do something different. I'm like, oh, okay, I went to the market <laughs> with the market women. They said yesterday was Christmas. So yeah, it looks like, yeah, TikTok is becoming some, some not full time, but. <laughs> yeah, but it's <laughs> in, intensifying. <laughs> well, congrats, congrats, man. I, I thank was, you, thank you. some love, man. Oh. <laughs> Be before we, that you do the queen so well, so, you know. Um, you, you know how to mimic the Queen, or should I say, British people in general? Yeah, so I can mimic the British, I can mimic English, um, American, yeah. I can do some Akata. And I want that you were doing everybody. Yeah, because what, what I realized is that when I did a video and I put in a little accent, the comments were mostly for, as the accent for me, is the accent for me, is the accent for me. So then a few people had come and said, could you do a video with the accents that you can do? So New Year, I'm, so we did the Queen. So I'm like, mm, uh, then what are we doing for New Year? So I just go and I was like, okay, then why don't I just do, because I've done this a queer in person. Mm -hmm. I can do the Queen. I can do the American, you know, I can, whatever accent I can do. Why don't I just put it together? And then that was a hit. Yes, that was a hit. <laughs> that was a hit. But I don't know where I picked the accents from. I guess it's just my, I don't know, my talent. It is your given. talent. Show us some love, man. <laughs> and and yeah. folks, she's here today. Apart from just celebrating a TikTok, she's also an entrepreneur, man. She does, what is it called? Green Essentials? Green Essentials. Yeah. Let's get a look at some of the things that Green Essentials make. Well, that's green essentials, wow. you know, and, and that's we, we've seen a bit of TikTok. There's plenty of TikTok, man. Where do you go? You go to TikTok, Miss Misa 81. Okay. And Facebook is Yayo Nima Dansu Misa. Okay. Yeah. We have put them all on the screen, so you can go there right now and you see what I mean. So you do green essentials, you're doing TikTok, and you know why you're here today. Tell me. I'll tell you. <laughs> as good as I thought I am. Right. The director of this program, had the nerve to fire me. Who's that? Who's that? There? Who's that? There? Who's man, that? man or woman? <laughs> a woman. Born, born of a woman. Born, a woman born of a woman. <laughs> Tell her you also fire me. That's some nerve. Nerve. Nerve is no no. But the reason she has fired me was right. that I see we move TikTok pa ana. A woman me yano over to me aye. 
I'm sorry. I'm 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 i i I'm 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 and so today, she's a co-host. Yes, yeah, sort of, yeah. She's a co-host today, you know. And, and then one bakwa. One bakwa. One bakwa. What a guest grand the buy. But yo, tell me a little bit about the guest that you have because very soon I will step aside me, me for you to be in the comfortable lead. Comfortable lead, they're dangerous. So who's your guest? Okay, so we, she's actually a classmate of mine. Okay. Um, we kind of have about a similar story. You know, she was also in the corporate, decided she was sick and tired of it. You know, now she's back, she's doing her own thing and she's doing well. Mm. I don't want to say what she does. No, Ambra, tell us no, exactly no, what she does. Yes, exactly. And then again, for like to you, too, she was also a corporate woman. She was working in banking. I was in my brain. I was in my brain. I Anyway, right. So yeah, welcome. And um, I, the director has. Me there be me body and so me be be Kenya. Oh, and then you send me. Let's see. Hey, let's go back to Kenya. Me yeah. patch your director there now. So I say up a co-host. Hey. So she's my co-host. One more time. <laughs> very very quickly. Very very quickly. Before I go, please next week, whatever you do, tune in because we are going to give away thirty. Insurance policies, home insurance policies for one year. What did I A whole year, free home insurance policy for the first 30 people. Stick around. Next week, I bet you here. What do you see? A couple of keys? Well, yes, but we see the value beyond that. We see the keys to your family road trips and the keys to where your kids sleep at night. But regardless of how much we value our homes and cars, most of us insure just our cars. Introducing Homeprehensive, a single insurance policy for both your car and home. Get Homeprehensive from Vanguard, because when it comes to insuring your car and home, fa boom prekun. KSM show. Oh yeah, like KSM said. We're doing this family and friends thing. So if you don't have an uncle, me, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you have an uncle, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> but you know what? So yeah, I'm taking over the show now. And I have a guest. This guest, she's my schoolmate. She's my friend. And she's into Shall I the end of the day? This one if I was from Kumasi, I wouldn't have been able to say it. But... <laughs> She didn't disgrace my people. She's a mi millionaire. Millionaire. When she comes, she should come and tell me exactly what it is. Her name is Rita Odami. She's a she's into mil milliard. <laughs> but anyway, let's introduce Rita. She's on the show right now, Rita. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Thank Please have you. a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And how are you? I'm good. And how Depot are to you? Hang. You went to a big girl, so <laughs> we, 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 we have to represent, represent our school. Yeah. What are you here? <laughs> yeah, for school or mm -hmm. Nice weather. <laughs> so Rita, how have you been? I'm good. I mean, I'm I know good. we talk. I don't see you a lot. I just call you to do my fascinators. My, my fascinators. So are you? Are you my melanist? I am a melaner. Oh, but you, can <laughs> you not be a melanist? I haven't heard that word look before, it up, look so it up. I'll you look it up, be. but Milena. I know Milena. we are millionaires. Millionist. Anyone possible? who is into millinery is a millionaire. So what exactly is that? What is that? The word millinery was coined from the word Milan. Milan um, is Italy. 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 Because at that time, the people in Milan liked to put on hats or make oh. hats. So the word was coined from the word Milan. She's from Milan. She's so, from so this whole art, art business thing started from Milan? Yes, the word is coined from the word I Milan. I see. Are you not privileged to be doing something that's from I Milan? I am. <laughs> I see. So what you're wearing is... Uh, yes, um, it's part of millinery. This is a beaded hair vine. Hair vine? Yes. Do people have fancy names for your things? Yes. It? Lovely ones. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, um... You are Rita Odami. Yes, I'm Rita Odami. And uh, Odamia Odami actually. Why? They didn't have any names in your family? 
<laughs> I was named after my grandmother, who was Odamia. And your father was And Odami. my father is Odami, so... But what is that? <laughs> I had a lot of explaining to do growing up. I know, Odami, so, Odami. Yes, you know, like Asantua Asante. Asantua no, 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 Asante. You don't do that. You, know, you don't do that. Mm. You don't, so just tell people you are with Odami. Leave that Odamia. I am Odamia. It's between. a lovely name. A anyway, lovely Ghanaian It is, name. actually. <laughs> okay, so, so let's talk about... Mela... Melanie. 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 Okay, so how long have you been doing this millinery business? I started as a, as a hobby in 2012, but as a business, a full business, that's in 2018. But I've, I've, I've always known you to be in the corporate world. Yes. So, okay, tell I, me about this corporate thing and then how you went into millinery. Okay, right. So, um, I trained as an engineer. After oh, years, serious telecom engineering in okay. um, training Ghana Telecom Training School. At mm -hmm. that time, it's now Ghana Telecom Training College, uh, University College. Wow. Yes. So you're an engineer. Yes, I trained as a telecom engineer. Okay. So after we were done, we were um, bonded to Ghana Telecom at that time. Okay. Yes, it was a program, a two-year program at uh, Ghana Telecom Ghana Telecom okay and when you were done you were supposed to um, work for Ghana Telecom for at least oh. five years I finished the Brie Girls in 2000 yes with and you. I went yes with you <laughs> and I went to Ghana Telecom Training College in mm -hmm. 2001 I completed in 2003 okay and started working for Ghana Telecom okay. in Kumasi oh yes I see how so how long did you work at Ghana Telecom um, How many years? It's been in phases because um, Ghana Telecom was taken over by Vodafone okay. at a point. I think that was in 2008, 2009. Right. Yes, yeah, so I was in Ghana, um, Vodafone mm -hmm. and then part of the um, company was subletted to Huawei. Oh. So I was then part of Huawei, Huawei. until okay. I left. And when did you get fed up? Ha! Huh. It started as a hobby in 2012. Million, the million, million, million. Yes. <laughs> it started as a hobby in 2012 mm -hmm. when I had finished my um, first degree in uh, tech. Okay. And I was so used to doing something every day. So after I completed school, um, I go to work from Monday to Fridays. But mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday, I found myself a bit idle. Okay. And I felt I needed something to do, so I enrolled myself to go and do a decor, wedding mm -hmm, decor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when I got there, the woman teaching, she had other courses, right. including millinery. Oh, so, so you didn't even go to do no. millinery? Millinery. So I okay. got there and I realized, ah, I actually prefer this millinery to Oh, the, see what the Lord has you done. Know? <laughs> Okay, after, so, what so after I had entered, I decided, okay, I'm not going to stop the wedding decor, mm -hmm. but I learned everything she was teaching. Oh, okay, so you can do wedding decor and stuff. Yes, as well. I can. I need a bit oh. of polishing, but I can. I have the okay. The okay, that's good. Yes. So when I was done with it, I started my masters. As you did well. masters. Yes, in environmental science at Tech. Hey, what is that? <laughs> It's science of the environment. Yes. So what's How, wrong with uh, the stone? What's the science about that? <laughs> There's a lot that goes into it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it okay. I, I, I wanted to do something in the environment because But you of, had done engineering. Yes. Environmental science. Enough, what's the relationship? It's very related. Environmental health and safety. I actually did a postgraduate diploma at Gimpa one year. Oh, you can worry. Before I went to tech. <laughs> So, you like school too much. You know. So you put in all this money yes. to do engineering, to do environmental science. Yes. Postgraduate post postgraduate what? diploma. In what? In environmental Again. health and safety. Health. In Gimpa. So after all that, mm -hmm. you threw all those certificates away, all that money hmm. down the drain, and you decided, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to be a, mil a millionaire. millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Thank goodness you got it now. <laughs> Melinda. Melinda. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I I love to do things with so, my hands. So, so, up. sorry not to cut you. 
So did you one day just decide that, you know what, I've had it, or you know, you put in some thoughts, was family going to say? Because I mean, corporate world, at least free hospital deal, you, you know, will get help. some few, I'm sure, who are we, you're getting free phones. You know. I'm sure Vodafone is giving you data credits. credits. Mm. So why mm. millionaire? If, uh, when growing up, I mm. like to do things with my hands. Your hands. I'll You're that take, person. Yes. Okay. I'll take some dolls and pull their, uh, the dresses apart and put them together okay. again. Okay. So I think I've always had the... Uh, um, like a hands-on kind yes, of Yes, I've always had thing. the interest right. in it. Okay. It's just that when we were in school, I was also good but with this. But what did you do? What did you do in Ebri? I did um, science. <laughs> I did biology, physics, chemistry. You were yes. one of those students, eh? Uh -huh. Science too. You won't oh see us. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so that's how I was able to go to the Ghana Telecom because sure. it's, a, because it's, it's an engineering yeah, okay, background. That, that makes sense. Uh -huh. And then I did computer engineering too at Tech. Okay. Yes, that was my first degree. Let's leave those people. Now mm -hmm. let's come back to millena. Millenary. Right. So. so you, you left Ghana, so I'm asking, was it difficult, you know, to make the move? A little. It, I'll, I'll confess it was a bit difficult. I wasn't used to um, working for myself. Because so, you've been doing I've, school. Right from school, from... I had a job. Exactly. From the day I completed Ghana Telecom, it, you, are, you actually bonded. So I had a job. I wasn't used to waking up one day and I have to home. be at home but and then, do but, something but for when, myself. But you were Ghana Telecom, had you made any hats and sold? Oh, yes. I was making it on the low key. Oh, okay. Just Whilst a few working. family and friends. Okay. And I wasn't charging much. It wasn't really a business. So then what, if you're it was not charging hobby. much, it's a hobby. Mm -hmm. Why then would you decide that, you know what, I'm going to leave all of this and then I'm going to do hats? Okay. Because then you're not even making too much money yes. out of So yes. why, why would you do that? So um, I eventually got onto Instagram. I wasn't okay. very much into the social media, right. but I got onto Facebook at first and then later Instagram. And I was seeing a lot of things coming up. I'm like, hey, people are doing things. People this doing thing things. that I am using as a hobby. There are people it, making it's money. It's actually business. Yes, it's a good business. Okay. It was a bit scary trying to decide whether to I go want to stay. go. So actually, I didn't even start with the millinery as a business in 2018, I went to do fashion designing. Mm -hmm. That was the thought that I could actually start with fashion design. But by the time I was done with the, that one year course, I had decided, look, I already love this millinery mm -hmm. business. Let me enough, just go. Enough with, enough with environmental you know, science and working and all these and engineering. Safety. I'm well going done. to do it. And so that's how okay, I got okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I see. So, so how long has it been since you left um, Vodafone till now? How long has it been? Uh, that's almost... So you've been doing this for how many years? Um, almost five years now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Five. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? I mean, working for yourself, working for somebody, getting paid now, you know, you have to make sure... What's the difference? What, what There's a lot of difference. Right. It both has got its pros and cons. Okay. Yes. If you are working for someone, you don't really have a lot of control over the business exactly what you the work are told is not my father not for you. <laughs> That's right. what you are told to do is even if you don't agree you, you, you just have do to do it and sometimes i like to explore you know okay. so i felt a bit tied okay up. okay and okay. then a bit of office politics here and there so i just and annoying bosses mm -hmm. just say that mm -hmm. one <laughs> annoying bosses <laughs> oh, you've left five years you can say it <laughs> But you know, with corporate world, you know that at the end of the month, oh, the money will come. Yeah. You know, it will drop. <laughs> so uh, you are rest assured a, that, a, a you know, but if you are working for yourself, it's right. as and when, if it's what you put in, it's what you what, get. What you get yeah. It's I what see. you get out. So, so five years, I mean, five years is, is long enough. So do you, do you teach? Oh, yes. I have people like me who are also in corporate mm -hmm. world and have, um, the interest to learn millinery. So um, I have them come, maybe they take a few days off work. The corporate people? Yes, they, are they take a few days They'll off work. They'll be running away very soon like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not easy running a business. So if you don't have that, you know, strong interest, mm -hmm. just do it as a, a hobby. Just as continue. A, yes. But if you are really sure of 
running the business, then go so for you, it. You, Why you, not? You, you have people that work for you? I have currently, I used to have two people, but one has left for school. And the current one is also going to school very soon. Hey, so, so um, should I come? You can come. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you. Come and then you help so, me. So if I, if I wanted to learn... Millennium. Say, say it. Millennium. Millennium. <laughs> How long does it take? Like, it depends. It, if you are a, a beginner, I would say you need a, a beginner's uh, course. Which takes So that will take about six weeks. That's it? Yes. Six weeks intensive and you'll be good. Oh. Yes. Okay. Six week. There are a few people who can uh, do it already, so they come and learn certain techniques, not everything. So the that one will be an intermediate course. So, so that one can take you about a week or two just to learn certain techniques. And uh, is this expensive? Depending on who is asking. <laughs> hey, price discrimination has come inside. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm saying that because if I mention a certain figure to no, you, it may be, it. yeah, don't it may be okay, but when to another person. When you can tell them. Mm -hmm. ah, <laughs> so if you see Nanel's daughter, the same price. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll it's it. the same price, but you know, oh, if I we'll mention it, it, then you can afford me it. Me if they call me, I'll change You'll it. You'll come. I'll change it. <laughs> so, so, so what exactly do you do? What is it? So you make, so you have this something vine. Yes, those uh, beaded. Hair vine. Okay. And what what so what else do you make? I make hats. I actually brought you a gift. Oh, excellent. Can I see? <laughs> oh. Okay. Is that a helicopter? No. What is it? A propeller? <laughs> it's a fancy. Okay. Yes. Oh. How excellent. do I look? Oh. oh. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my you god. <laughs> You look lovely, let's. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is what you, this so this is what? What do you call this? You would call this a satellite. Hey, um, because you are from Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you... it's a pecha as well because it's perching. Is a, is a what? A pecha. What's that? Like a bird perching on pecha the tree. Pecha is like Lego. You know, it's not lying on your head. It's perching on the, on yes, mm. you know. You are saying Leg someone in Legon perching, of, of course. Oh! <laughs> oh! So they are perching. <laughs> so this so is perching. Where's yes, the perching? It's on my perching. forehead. Or it's perching on your head. Oh, that's so cute. Oh <laughs> okay, so, so something like this will cost what? Or oh, that one, the price discrimination is inside. Oh, a lot goes into it. Okay. Um, if, you, if you call me and you, you, we are doing consulting, I need to find out. Um, what you really want, where you are taking it to, oh, and okay. based on so that, so it's not just get me a propeller. No, oh, a pecha. What is Maybe it? you want it a bit bigger than this. The cost oh. will change. Okay. Uh huh. Oh. You want more accessories. Mm -hmm. You want more feathers. The price definitely will change. Will change. Yes. Okay. But if you want the price of this, this will cost about three hundred cities. Oh, okay. Yes. I, I think it's fair. Yes. I think it's fair. I, I try to be moderate because not everyone can afford uh, so much. But I mean, there are different ones. Not yes, there are different ones. Start, How much is this starting from? Buying? This one goes for 150. 150. 100. How much work? So, how long does it take to do something like this? This took me a day. A day? Yes. Because it's quite intensive trying to get the, um, the veil. Into that, that the veil. Oh, that's the birdcage veil. Yes. Because I'm not a millionaire. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but you know what? It's 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 been ha fun having you here. But Thank you. So you're the millionaire who does things from Milan. Where 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 do we get you? Where do we find you? Number, social media handles. Okay, okay. currently I work from home. Okay. And so it's more of an online business okay so you um, have a social media handle yes i do have social okay. media handle. Wh which you can reach me on instagram okay if you send me a dm uh, at amaski gh amaski 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 a m a s k i underscore g h okay okay yes amaski gh and i'm on facebook as well as amaski gh same amaski yes. gh and okay. the number right yeah yeah What's zero, your number? zero two zero four zero zero five seven two nine Okay. And then zero five five three two two eight six zero nine. Thank you very much, M Million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Jia has always been mischievous. <laughs> I don't want any trouble. She's what she said she was. M ends with L E R. Millionaire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's uh, Rachel Dami Amaski. You know, she does all this great stuff. You can get her on a social media handle, as she said. And too bad I gotta leave. <laughs> I didn't want to. It's my first day. But hey, you know how they do it on this show. <laughs> So like my uncle does, I just came, so I'll continue that one. We are out of here!